Oh, bonjour. Uh, Beatrice Nindishnikas, uh, Wabashka Vivegoji Manito Equine Nindishnikas Gaye, uh, uh, Makwa Dudim, uh, Diliko Nimiki Benesi, Asian Kazo, uh, Migizi Asian Kazo Gaye. Um, hello, my name is uh, Beatrice. My spirit names are a uh, white horse spirit woman, and I'm also called a uh, big eagle woman. And I'm from the Bear Clan, and I'm from Biktigong First Nation, formerly called uh, uh, Pick River. And uh, the Liko spirit names are uh, Anemeki Benesi, which is uh, Thunderbird, and also Megizi, which is uh, the eagle. So, uh, today I'm going to be doing a feasting ceremony, but before I do that, I just wanted to share some, some teachings on the spirit names because, you know, uh, Delico was gifted uh, two spirit names in a sacred ceremony in this lodge here uh, in July of 2019 by Elder uh, Gerald Desmolin. And... Um, it was a very, very powerful ceremony, and you know, uh, we've we were wa we waited for so long for th for those names to be retrieved, and once they were re re retrieved, you know, we could feel the the ancestors who were who were with us uh, waiting for those names, and I could just those tears were just just coming down at that time, and uh, <clears throat> it, it's very important to have a spirit name you know when we're born in this world and, and that water comes out we all have spirit names but because of our history you know that history of colonization residential school boss residential school 60s scoop and so on you know a lot of us don't know our uh, spirit name I didn't get my spirit name until I was uh, much older. It was uh, given to me by an elder from from my community, uh, uh, and she's passed now to the spirit world, uh, Colette Goodchild, and, <clears throat> and she said, uh, when, okay, I offered her tobacco first and she took it with her. And she said when, when she was in the uh, sacred sweat lodge ceremony and she was praying for my name to, to be re re retrieved, she said she saw this uh, vision of a hor white horse coming toward her. And uh, she said, okay, Wabishko. Bebe Goji Manito Ikwe, white horse, spirit woman. And um, uh, she called me after and she said, okay, I, I have your, your name. And uh, so we did a ceremony at my place and she let me know my name. And uh, one of the things, when we receive a name, our spirit name that helps us on our physical as well as our spiritual journey because you know we all carry that spirit with us in like I said that that name comes when we're born but a lot of us don't know um, but there are elders that are able to retrieve those names for us and all we have to do is offer them tobacco. And, and there's different ways of uh, those names being retrieved. Some, it may come through uh, sweat lodge ceremony. Some, it may come through dreams. Some, it might come just right away to them. You know, traditional healing, a lot of, lot of our clients come to, to get their spirit names through that. And sometimes the name comes right away, but sometimes it does it does take time. Um, <clears throat> my, my children know their spirit names. They have their spirit name. My husband, who is uh, non-native, he comes from Newfoundland, he has his spirit name. His spirit name is uh, Leading White Wolf. 
and oh, such a powerful, powerful um, name. Um, my grandchildren, my son, uh, my grandson Jackson, his name was retrieved in a, a ceremony facilitated by uh, Jerry Baxter, and his name is um, White Bear, White Bear. So. You know he he knows his his name too, and he's five years old now. So that name was gifted to him before he turned one. My my granddaughter Audrey, uh, when she was a day a day old, no the, the the day after yeah, I took her into the the nursery with me. Because her, her mom and dad, they were, they were tired. They wanted to, to rest. So I took her with me. And I was holding her in the, in the nursery, just rocking her, looking at her, admiring her. And I said, oh, I said, I wonder what your spirit name is. Boom. It came to me. Little white feather. Uh, Oh, such such a beautiful name. Um, I, I went to tell tell her parents and her grandpa. And I said, yeah, her name her name came came to me. And that's one of the teachings too is that grandmothers can give their their grandchildren their names. I know my <clears throat> my my grandmother my my, my mom gave uh, my my children. Uh, their name, but then they got they got uh, another name also. Um, for for my daughter April, she gave uh, uh, Little Spring, and f for my son um, Animki, Animki, and um, but they got they got other names now. Um, in regards to me gifting my granddaughter with her name, um, and I knew I had to do the ceremony to 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 let her know what her name is, and you know, um, maybe about a week after her name came to me, we were out fishing out on uh, Lac de Malac, my son, my husband and I. It was such a beautiful day, you know. We were we were by the reeds, just, you know, fishing and stuff. And I was thinking, oh, because we, we saw an eagle up above. And um, I said, oh, wouldn't it be so nice to, to find a little white feather? And here my husband, he was saying the same prayer. You know, and it was so nice. Then my son, he was paddling. He looked. He said, "What's that up there?" And closer, closer. And my my husband picked it up. Oh, that's a little, little white feather. Put down the tobacco. Oh, me quench, me quench. Wow. You know, and and that that comes through spirit. You know, um, it was just just so beautiful. I said, "Oh." I said, me quetch, me quetch. Then I decorated for her. And when I did her ceremony, uh, I gifted it to her. Now she has it in her room. And uh, she's she just turned three. So I'm going to be teaching her more about what her name means. You know, that the, the feather, like Donna was talking earlier about that feather and, and how, you know, it guides us on our... On our journey, sometimes we, we might stray off the path, you know. But, you know, being gifted with an eagle feather is one of the, the greatest honors that, that we could ever receive because the, the, one of the seven grandfather teachings uh, is, is symbolized by the eagle, and that eagle represents love, the love and the sacrifice that that eagle made for us to show show us our love and that's why we honor that that eagle feather uh very much so i just want to share some of those um spirit name teachings with you and i think each one of us here has a responsibility 
to acknowledge those names that were gifted to Deliko, Animiki Benesi, as well as Megizi, when we're offering those prayers to to uh, say those names, uh, because we all work for uh, Delico, we're all we're all helpers here, and we're all, we're all helping um, clients, helping uh, the community. So we have to acknowledge those names, and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to share the uh, spirit name teachings. Uh, in regards to the feast, I'm going to be doing a feasting ceremony here. Um, I already have the the food that has been cooked by the by the cooks here, and I have the traditional food as well. I'd like to thank my husband for helping me because he cooked the moose meat and the fish. So miigwech, <laughs> Jer. And I cooked the rice and and got the berries. So it's good to, to have those uh, traditional foods, you know, w when we're feasting as an agency, but when you're feasting at home alone, it can be very simple. Whatever you're eating, put that in. And when we feast, we're saying to the to the ancestors who are always helping us on this, like I said, this physical as well as spiritual journey here. And that's why, that's why we feast. That's why we put those uh, feast dishes out. And I was thinking, I said, oh, I didn't, I didn't bring um, that, those birch bark dishes. But you know, that's okay. You, we don't always have access to that birch bark. But we have, we might have access to maybe wooden bowls or even uh, paper plates because that paper comes from the wood, you know, and and when you're putting out that, uh, those food dishes, you know, just put a little bit, a little bit, then put your tobacco on the, on the plate. Then, then you put that out on the west side of a tree in, in and again, there might be different teachings out there, you know. I always say there's different teaching, but follow what your heart, your heart, your spirit tells you to follow, you know. Um, and uh, so, so when you're putting that food down, you just, you know, take the tobacco, put it down, say, miigwech, miigwech, put the food down, and say, miigwech for accepting my, my offering. And... Um, and looking forward to whatever help you're going to help help us with for the next next uh, while. Um, at the Lico here, we we have feast uh, twice a year in the spring and in the fall. So this is our fall feast. It's a little bit different this year with with the pandemic. Uh, so uh, I let the managers know that even though you know. We don't have all our sacred items here. Bless your sacred items with that smudge. Offer, even if you just have berries, put that offering out because those sacred items help us on, on our journey here. And we have to respect them. So when we have a feast, that's what, that's what we do. All those items are, um, are blessed. You know, I offered tobacco to uh, Miss Guadese, the the grandfather drum that sits here at the treatment center, and I also offered tobacco to Ganiba Wichmako, Standing Bear, and that uh, keeper is is Kelvin. I offered the tobacco there as well. Um, so when when we're doing that uh, ceremony, um, we bless. We bless the giveaway items, and here, when when we had that uh, spirit name ceremony, uh, the elder said, yeah, "Put up the colors in in the four directions: yellow in the east, red 
in the south. Well, actually, I'll, I'll read this because I wrote this because I wanted everyone to know what, when they get this, what they have to do. And this is for our 131 North Archibald um, location. And actually, Delico has a lot of locations. There's 31 buildings. That's a lot. So I like to say miigwech to, to Helen for helping me with these, you know. We, we made all the ties, tobacco ties, then we put the cedar on there. So uh, I wanted to say, okay, please put up a yellow tobacco cedar tie on the east wall, a red tobacco cedar tie on the south wall, a black tobacco cedar tie on the west wall, and a white tobacco cedar tie on the north wall. This is the direction we have been given at the Delico Spirit Naming Ceremony. These do not have to be placed above the windows, but can be put at arm's length above your head. You know, they could be put up there like that. Um, uh, they have been blessed in sacred ceremony, so they're going to be blessed today and feasted. These will be replaced again next October. Please remove any old tobacco cedar ties or any cedar that may be above the windows and burn them in a sacred fire or put out in a bush. Or you may send them to Beatrice at an empty miigwech. So, <clears throat> so these will be blessed. Um, uh, so uh, I'm going to be asking af after I do the the blessing. And one of the teachings is that water is prayed for first because water represents that life. You know, before we are born, that water comes first. So we pray for that water first. And women are the the water. Uh, Keepers, we pray for that water. And the men, I'll be lighting the fire as well. The men are the are the fire, fire keepers. They take care of that fire. They ensure that the family is kept warm and stuff. And then um, after I'll be needing some help from the woman to to um, to uh, put out the um, the traditional food, as well as the water as well, okay? Um, and I believe that's it. What, what I'm going to be doing before we start is, is offering that tobacco to everyone because always through tobacco, the elders say. And you know, when you're offered tobacco to share a teaching, the ancestors the spirit, your spirit helpers will help you in what, what, needs, to, what needs to be said. So like uh, one of the uh, persons talking yesterday, actually it was Crystal, she says, you know, we're helpers. The, the spirits help us in sharing what needs to be shared. So I'll offer that tobacco. So um, if there's anyone he, if any of the women are on their moon time, you know, this is ceremony. If you're on your time, we could put some tobacco by you so, so that we know that you're on your time. And that uh, cedar is a uh, protection medicine. It's a cleansing medicine. During that time, a woman is very powerful, you know, because that's her cleansing time. And sometimes they say that. Uh, if a woman's on her time, she could draw that, to, all that toward her. So that's why we put that, that tobacco around her. So I like to say, uh, me guetch, and um, I just wanted also to add that there's no right or no wrong way to do a ceremony. Sometimes we may forget things, um, but you know. If it's done with good intent, then I like to say, oh, miigwech, miigwech, okay.